everyone welcome to beauty in the garden i'm t so today you guys i'm going to go ahead and make over my front porch now i am going to simplify my front porch i'm going with more of a natural element going on this season so i hope you guys enjoy this video so i figure since i do love plants and i like to do a lot of things with nature so i'm going to go ahead and keep it pretty neutral so there are some pieces that i will be utilizing over this is why i say it's going to be on a budget i feel like if you have a lot of materials that you are already using the best thing to do with them is to refresh them so that's what we're going to be doing today so by utilizing some of the items that we already have it helps by refreshing without spending more money than we need to so here's my front porch you guys it is very plain and right now i'm going to show you some of the elements that we're going to be utilizing today now i do have some natural woods that i will be using some tin and metal things of that manner to go ahead and bring everything together to my vision of what i think is very great so let's go ahead and get into this video so the first item up is this pillow now if you watched my video last season i had this pillow you guys this pillow is very beautiful and you still can purchase this pillow from walmart this pillow has beautiful texture i love the pattern i love how it's nice it's soft and it just it moves you guys can you see that it's a very beautiful pattern the next item that i did purchase you guys this is new um, they did have this last season, but I did not purchase I purchased it this year. You guys, this is a beautiful, I would say more like an emerald green. I really love this pillow. I love the textures. I love, like I said, the elements of this pillow as well. Look how beautiful this pillow is. Okay, now they do have the tassels on the end just like the other one does. So we're going to use the, utilize this today. Beautiful throw. I did purchase this throw, you guys. I purchased this from Home Goods. It's a beautiful throw. Can you guys see here? It's very beautiful. And I'll be utilizing this beautiful baby as well on my front porch. Now, if you guys watch my other channel, Beauty in the Home, you will see that some of these items that I went ahead and brought my home outside so i hope you guys enjoyed that as well so go ahead and check out that channel as well beauty in the home and tell me what you guys think so last season i found this beautiful pot here now you can find all of these items all over again this is a beautiful pot i thought it would just be perfect for uh, what i have going on i did pop in you guys i'm um, creeping jenny's right at the top of this pot and it's just going to bring out another contrast to bring a little pop of color into our scheme you purchase these guys right here from walmart you can still purchase these guys as well and they were running pretty a decent price really probably between 10 to 15 dollars i think these are absolutely cute they're very heavy you guys so it's really really worth the money so go ahead and check out walmart and see if you find some of these beautiful items there. Now let's talk about some things that you can find at help now i did purchase some items from help and i'm telling you guys if you want to stay on a budget go to help go to kappa go to goodwill go to salvation army go to these places or even a garage sale you might find some beautiful pieces that will put your porch together i love looking for different items different textures it is amazing things to do when you do that because you get to envision what you can do with pieces that you will normally not find in the store so here is a bottom of a tray this was a three-tiered uh, tray and I went ahead and took it apart and just utilized the bottom. So I'm telling you you guys Used pieces is perfect for your home. Do not worry about what other people think. It's okay It's your vision and that's all that's matters. So let's get into the next use item. I did find this beautiful vase here at a used place and I got them both of them. I got two of them. I paid five dollars for each of them. So tell this for the natural element is these beautiful um, barks that I purchased these from Hobby Lobby. And I put them on a piece of foam to give it some elevation so that it will stay spread out and give it that look. So one thing you wanna do, if you want something to not look flat and just thrown in a vase, go ahead and get a piece of styrofoam and go ahead and put it and place it into place and it will stay spread out just like this, okay? So we're gonna put that back into this vase now i do have two of these guys so this is one of the items that i'm going to be utilizing four today. different textures so i have here is 
a beautiful um, feather here. I have a nice piece of like a palm and as well we have some grass here. So we're going to be utilizing these different pieces and these different textures and we're going to be adding this to our natural element to our front porch decor. Okay, so the next items up are these two vases here. I purchased these two vases from TJ Maxx and I'm utilizing here is some of my um, crepe myrtle pods and it's given that natural element that we're looking for and it's very beautiful sitting in the sun hitting through it is very elegant to me so if you look at these two items we're going to be utilizing these as well today so i will be using my striped rug again i really like this I, it, it brings out a nice contrast and it, it makes my front porch my front porch is very short and uh, it's not that wide so it gives it a, a more of a, a long gated eye appeal for my front porch so i will be utilizing this as well and i am going to be utilizing my same furniture that i purchased from big lots i had it for a very long time but you can still get these same items at big lots it's pretty much similar and guess what it held up very well i have had mine you guys for about 10 years so i really really recommend heading over to your local big lots and go ahead and pick up some of their beautiful furniture and as well it's more of a reasonable price so we are going to make sure we stay on that budget okay so let's go ahead and put everything together i hope you guys enjoy the content please don't forget again to give the video a thumbs up go ahead and subscribe to the channel Hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I do upload a video. And let's go ahead and get into setting up our front porch. So now I'm going to go ahead and clean off my shutter. When using furniture cleaner, it will help shine up your shutter. Okay, so right now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is go ahead and sweep up my front porch. Now I do have my blower. I went ahead and blew my front porch off probably a couple days ago. So right now I think I gotta do is sweep off some of the debris. And now what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to go ahead and lay down my area rug. Now my area rug, I got some advice from one of my subscribers just to go ahead and fold it back um, instead of laying it up against the wall. Now I'm going to go ahead and place the furniture. Now this furniture is very sturdy now. I did tell you guys I purchased this from Big Lots. And this leaf came from Kirtland. Now, you probably would not find this leaf, but you could still find something similar because Kirtland's always have beautiful tin pieces, and uh, you can definitely find something similar. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put the candles back into the candle holder. I'm going to go ahead and place this vase right here in the behind the corner of this uh, chair to just give out a little pop of texture. And these are the seat mats that I got from a nursery here locally and you can purchase these anywhere. These are just your standard uh, seat pillows. Now I'm going to place my tray right dead in the middle and I'm going to go ahead and place my vases. 
And now I'm going to show you how you can play with colors and schemes and different textures. And wow, look how that came out. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this throw right here on the corner of the right hand chair. Placing the pillows. Giving them a nice fluff. Now I'm going to go ahead and place my vases to give a little bit more height onto the front porch. It helps draw the eyes up. Now this table that I'm cleaning off, now I did purchase this little table, you guys, for $5 at the 5 and below store. And I thought it was pretty reasonable for what I needed. So I'm just going to pop this baby right back on the corner. Now these little tins came from another um, help uh, shopping haul when I go to like uh, Goodwill or garage sale. So I purchased these and I thought they would be perfect for what we're doing today. Now I have this beautiful white vase. Now this is a ceramic pot. Now I did went ahead and pick up a nice size fern from Walmart for roughly about around $15. And I'm gonna pop that in the corner just to bring out a pop of color. And then I'm gonna put my lanterns. You could put them here or you could put them on the, uh, on the ground and I think that worked perfectly too. But everything, can you see guys, all the different woods and all the different textures, all the natural elements that you can possibly put in. Now if you had some type of water type of fountain that you could put up here that would be very tranquil, um, that would be absolutely nice up here as well. Now I think everything came along so nicely. I love, like I said, the pops of color. If you see that I did play off the natural uh, greens with the plants and uh, it really brought everything together. So I really, really enjoyed this one. I, um, I just love nature and I love natural things. So I hope you guys really did enjoy this video. Okay, you guys, we're at the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. Please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I do upload a video. And remember, there's beauty in everyone's garden. And bye-bye for now.